now, but still some amazing stuff. Now, we'll be close to that, but southeastern New Mexico probably going to miss it. But I realize it's we're coming out of a holiday weekend, you guys. And I want to give you a little inspiration. And everybody at home, everybody's like, oh, holiday. And i got to get back into the work. That's true. Well, the work mix here. Take a look at this. I mean, I think this is inspiring stuff. A guy changing a tire. And he's sitting there, and he's just like, i got to get my tire changed. But look at this, the little engine that could. Look at this little car. He starts pulling up a huge trailer <laughs> up this mountain. I mean, this is great stuff. Every <laughs> once in a while, something surprises you. You get a car that comes They're up. Standing and there in you, you're like, I can't believe this. Let me clean off the lens. Did I see what I thought I saw? That is incredible. It uh -oh. Oh, no, <laughs> it comes all the way back. The engine's blown out. Oh, it's no. gone. That car is gone. And nice. that is some great video. <laughs> Don't let that discourage you, though. You still need to be fired up for the rest of the work week. 77 no degrees for us right now. East southeast winds at 18 miles an hour. So gusty stuff still out there for us right now, but the winds are coming down a bit for us at this point. 60s and 70s off to the north, down to the south, anywhere from the 60s in Rudeau, so all the way up to the mid 70s around Roswell, some high 70s around Deming for us as well. Looking at the wind speeds, again, Albuquerque, the worst of it right now. We're getting some winds around Tucumcari and Clovis, but overall, the winds will back off throughout the night tonight. We are going to continue with storms across the four corners throughout the night and really into west central sections as well. You can see the plume of moisture just sliding up from the south and this is really the target point for tomorrow as well. Central and western sections of the state will see scattered storms so not everybody even in central and western sections will get wet but that's the best shot. And then out to the east maybe an isolated storm and that's going to be about it here. So we'll watch for the spot stuff to the east but scattered stuff metro area out to the west here and in Albuquerque I'd be thrilled if we even got a few showers. Then by Thursday, we start to dry things out with drier air with just the southeast getting some showers. And then by Friday, the whole state dries out and it looks like we're going to keep things pretty quiet here as we head toward the weekend. And the reason why is because of the battling air masses. Now, admittedly, this is not a scene of two titanic air masses, not this time of year. But what we are seeing here is that moisture entrenched across the west will lose the battle with that dry air that comes in from the western part of the nation. So essentially what it's going to do is push that moisture on out of here, and we're going to end up with dry conditions. So anytime we end up with westerly winds, we usually end up with a dry setup across New Mexico. That's exactly exactly what's going to happen as we head toward the end of the work week here. So if we're going to get a storm, it better be tomorrow because that dry air is going to win, well, the less than clash of the Titans and we'll end up with a lot of sunshine toward the weekend. 70s and 80s around the four corners. Showers likely tonight and throughout the early part of tomorrow as well. Your Durango and Farmington extended. Well, if we don't get storms tomorrow, we're not going to get them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Weather looks pretty good. Down toward the south. And the west temperatures here, for the most part, going to be in the 80s and some low 90s with scattered rain showers out there. And over to the southeast, not as good a chance at storms here. Maybe some spot stuff from time to time, but for the most part, it will be dry with temperatures in the high 80s. But that chance at at least a couple sprinkles continues through Thursday before the dry out into the weekend. North and east, you guys have the slight chance at a shower, but not anything I'd be concerned with. Over the northern mountains, the elevated terrain will help touch off more storms here, especially in areas like Chama and Los Alamos. Santa looking at the chance at a shower as well through tomorrow and then things dry out toward the weekend. Meanwhile, East Mountain, some scattered storms by tomorrow afternoon, 84 to Harris, 81 in Cedar Crest. And finally, right here in the metro area, we've got a chance at a scattered shower tomorrow. Fingers crossed because if we don't get a little bit of rain tomorrow, we're going to go dry for at least the next week or so. And there's your seven-day forecast for the metro. But watch those temps. They look good. Overnight lows now into the 50s. So feeling like fall, daytime highs, low 80s. Nice. Thank All right. More. Thanks, Mark. Sports is next.